Hello there. It's uh, uh, Eldor, or the Master Versal Toy Hunter here. Uh, yes, sir. I was standing at the Great Eye of the Universe, and I thought, why not make my own custom figure, for better or worse? Hmm. Come with me, and let's see what things we can make with our creativity. Ooh, well, uh, don't just stand there. Come on down. <laughs> And so, with our tools and materials gathered, what figure shall we make with a little magic? Uh, uh, let's see, a bit of this, uh, 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 a bit of that, uh, uh, and uh, uh, maybe some gear. Oh, 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 and I think some of this will do the trick. Yes, sir. So, no matter if it's uh, night or day, come rain or shine. I think it's a good day for some custom figure time. Indeed. Uh, uh, welcome to the channel there, all you uh, uh, YouTubers and uh, uh, fellow Etonians. Uh, uh, it's uh, uh, Eldor here, or the uh, 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 Master Wrestle uh, Toy Hunter. And uh, uh, yes, sir, I, uh, I, I had to uh, 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 shrink myself down there uh, just to, uh, you know, uh, uh, get everything uh, in the in the frame there, uh, or in the picture, you might say. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, oh, well, hang on a second. Uh, we're a bit out of uh, a focus there. Uh, uh, just a moment there. Uh, uh, well, there we go. Uh, I see, uh, I'm much better there now. Yes, uh, 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 and so, uh, uh, yes, I'm sure we're, we we all know about uh, uh, the origins of uh, Snake Mountain there, uh, of course. And yes, uh, 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 mine arrived there uh, uh, the other day, so... Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, I haven't uh, uh, quite opened the place yet uh, uh, up yet, uh, of course. Uh, uh, but uh, are we are we are we while ago now? I uh, uh, purchased uh, uh, this uh, this uh, 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 3D printed uh, uh, Skeletor's uh, uh, vi 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 viewing table there uh, of a fellow here uh, in, in Etonia uh, uh, for the purposes uh, of uh, 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 putting that uh, uh, with. Uh, my snake bound to place it uh, when it arrived, and uh, uh, yes, uh, 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 I've been rather busy there, uh, uh, getting it all uh, uh, fixed up and smoothed out, uh, as it were. I'm ready to put with that set, and yes, there's a couple of things I want to do with it. Also, uh, I want to build my own uh, a lava lava falls. Uh, uh, there, so, uh, so yeah, I, uh, I thought I'd do a wee video uh, on uh, on how I'm going about uh, uh, doing all that uh, and, and so forth. So yes, uh, I've got my uh, uh, pieces all here, and I've uh, I've been smoothing over the uh, the tabletop, of course, uh, with a bit of Tamiya uh, epoxy paste. So it's not quite a, a putty, you, you know, you you mix together uh, and so forth to 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 make everything uh, 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 work out and, and what have you. It's uh, more of a more of a toothpaste there, but you don't want to uh, uh, put this stuff on your uh, a toothbrush. What? <laughs> so yes, uh, uh, without further ado, uh, uh, I've got uh, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, base uh, uh, ready to go there. Just did a little bit of uh, uh, preparations and, uh, and what have you. <laughs> and I thought uh, I'd show you a little, a little bit uh, how I'm going about uh, uh, getting things ready to get all uh, uh, painted up uh, and so forth. All right, uh, uh, let's uh, dive into it then. <laughs> Oh, all right, uh, 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 now that I'm uh, uh, resized uh, there again. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's get the, get the camera all focused and, and so forth. Well, there you go. <laughs> all right, so here is the uh, the tabletop, the viewing table 
uh, top brother. Uh, oh, uh, uh, pretty much uh, already there. And yes, sir. Uh, yeah, we went around uh, uh, sanding, sanding it. Of course, it was a little, uh, little uh, uh, rough, rough around the the edges there. You might say. <laughs> and uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, took a little bit of a uh, uh, war, worn out a uh, uh, sandpaper there. You know, to use a uh, uh, fresh stuff, or you can, I believe, use the uh, the old one twenty grit. Uh, there, a bit of fine sandpaper, and then uh, after I, uh, of course, went around pretty much the the top and the sides uh, with the sandpaper. There, I uh, I went with the old uh, Tamiya putty, you know, but uh, I think that's a, a term they use across the board there, uh, and what have you. So yes, it's the uh, it's the box there. And, Ooh. It's gonna fight me on the camera there, but uh, come out there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> See, it comes as a bit of a tube there, so it's uh, it's all uh, pre-mixed, you might say. So you have to uh, work with it uh, uh, pretty quickly there, depending on the the room temperature, of course. And, and yes, we've had a, a bit of a, a string of hot days there, uh, indeed. And uh, so it uh, doesn't give you much time to work. You probably have about. Uh, I don't know, maybe two or three minutes, depending on, on how thickly you're applying it, of course, before it uh, starts uh, setting uh, on you and, and so forth. So there's our, our putty there. And, and so, uh, here's the uh, the base piece I've just been uh, 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 scratching like Mother Hen about on with the old sandpaper. <laughs> oh, lots of spiky pieces. Yeah, my work uh, cut out for me there indeed. Yeah. Uh, getting to the, getting to the uh, uh, point of it, you know. <laughs> but uh, I, I tried to file in a bit of sanding of the uh, the sharp bits down there, uh, uh, and poking myself uh, in the process, you know, when you you go there, you go, oh, I caught myself there, oh, ouch. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, looking very uh, menacing there, and intimidating indeed. Ooh. But. Uh, uh, probably just as well, uh, 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 designed fit for a, a skeleton, of course. <laughs> so yes, uh, I've gone around the sandpaper there, and I tried a bit of a uh, 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 melting as well with the uh, with one of those uh, wood iron pokers. It has a nice uh, a flat tip on it, so I was just running the hot wood poker carefully, running it up and down the different spiky pieces there. Uh, be careful, of course. So you want to gotta be careful uh, not to melt in. Uh, too much there, uh, otherwise you'd be down to the supports and unit supports and what have you. And so yes, we're going to try and go over a few of these spikes with the older uh, uh, Tammy Epoxy Party, but uh, 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 mind you, though, a, a little bit of a, a rocky-like formation that won't go amiss. I guess uh, that give it a more uh, a natural look, uh, I suppose. You know, like you have here with all the all the bumps on the base. So I'm planning to uh, uh, paint this, of course, in the colour scheme of uh, uh, Snake Mountain. But uh, uh, the tabletop a little bit different there. Yes, uh, I'll just go on a bit, a bit of lighter, lighter stone grey there. And uh, of course, uh, the colour of the dome and, uh, and a few colours there. And, and of course, the red top colour. But uh, the underpaint will give it a bit of a, a, bit of a, a gemstone effect uh, eventually when I get onto the old paintwork there. But uh, we won't be... Uh, doing all the painting there today and I'm not too sure uh, on the uh, the bone design pieces yet whether I do them uh, you, you know uh, uh, white or maybe silver or something and yes you've got all the little uh, uh, attachment pieces there too and uh, a bit too fine I, I mean I managed to smooth out some areas with uh, the Terry putty but uh, I wasn't going to be too fussy on it you know <laughs> I'm not a uh, I'm not a, a metal factory there, so <laughs> yes. And, uh, and, the, and to apply the uh, putty, of course, I've got some uh, uh, cut-up cards. You know, your wallet card there, your purse card. <laughs> to uh, you know, scrape the the putty off the bit of cardboard there, and uh, just to uh, wipe it over some of those uh, uh, surfaces. So uh, uh, let's let's see how we go there. All right, so. It's Popping a little bit of time at a time there because it uh, dries very quickly, so we have to, to work fast with it. And uh, yes, just put the uh, the old uh, cap on there, so we don't uh, 
have our her paste uh, uh, drying out on us and uh, becoming not so useful. <laughs> well, let's uh, get on with it then before it uh, all dries on us. So yes, sir. just scraping a little bit, uh, doing a little bit of time, scraping a nice big helping there on our, our card and we'll uh, just start wiping it over some of the area there. You know, like uh, icing a cake, pretty much. <laughs> just without a, a knife there. Just uh, sweeping motions, trying to you know, work it into all the uh, all the gaps there and uh, so forth. Yeah, like so. Uh, I know uh, some fellows they, they might use the old uh, the resin the resin there to go over their 3d prints uh, to smoothen everything out get rid of all those uh, uh, 3d printed uh, uh, lines and, and gaps and, and and what have you and uh, or some might use maybe a bit of a, a solvent liquid and maybe use a bit of a paintbrush and, and go over it all I don't think uh, the Tamiya uh, stuff is all that uh, expensive, probably around uh, a 14 attorney or something. Uh, I don't know what the currency conversion is though, but uh, I'm sure it's uh, uh, different there indeed. <laughs> yes, just sort of a rubbing into the into the surface there, and as well as uh, uh, spreading it across as, uh, you know, as, as, as uh, neatly as you can. Because you can uh, sand it, of course, when it uh, it uh, sits hard there. It also pays to uh, use a bit of a, a brush or a duster there to get rid of all your sanding dust uh, out of all those uh, uh, cracks and nooks and crannies there. Mm. Yeah. You can do a bit of a sculpting there if you like, maybe you know, do some. Uh, uh, indentations depending on how thickly you apply it of course but uh, yes the, the thinner you put it on the, the faster it takes to uh, dry this so yes it's uh, pretty much everything all, all covered over there and you can you know pat it down a little but uh, most of the smoothing you can do of course is with that uh, it's a nice fine sandpaper and, and so forth and yes, uh, I don't know if I'll do all of them though. Uh, I might keep some that are uh, uh, randomly all uh, uh, textured up there from all the sanding and melting I did, just to give it a bit of uh, a texture variation, perhaps. Yes. I might do a, a little bit more there. Yes, uh, just uh, gently uh, uh, working in the putty to all those uh, 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 areas of the uh, 3D print texture. You know, you can uh, shape the putty, of course, uh, into maybe a bit of a, a rocky texture there. This way. Uh, very levels of uh, uh, gentleness, I suppose. Uh, something like that. Mm, so you've got a bit of a uh, not so smooth a, a form. But uh, uh, no, I'm just going to uh, work all that in as far as I can uh, get it. But if you've got a, a thinner uh, tool with a bit of a Bit of a scraper on one end, you might be able to get into all the, uh, the more tighter uh, areas. I 
used to using the flat of the uh, the uh, uh, plastic or cardboard there or, or whatever you're using uh, you use the flat you can get a different uh, uh, angled like forms there on the uh, on the structure oh yes uh, still got a big, big clob there under yeah, leave it too long yeah. we'll set up all set on me there yeah. yes, uh, quickly work some of that onto the other side there and you know usually when you're you're sanding around a curved form so the uh, the dome on the viewing table it pays to uh, you know send in the the direction of the form otherwise you end up with a whole bunch of a uh, uh, flat flat areas on a, on a curved surface there but uh, you know uh, there's some areas you, you, you don't have to be so uh, uh, careful about if you want to create a variation in form and texture there hmm. I'll try and work a little bit down the bottom there. And you know, uh, depending on how you feel, of course, uh, you might like to to leave it looking, you know, all uh, uh, textured like. Like that, instead of using the old sandpaper. Using the, uh, the edge of the uh, scraper, you can maybe add a few uh, uh, scrapey like uh, uh, textures in there as well. Uh, multi directional texturing, yeah. Yes, I feel the uh, the putty setting on me there. It's rather warm in this room at the moment. <laughs> so there we go, a little bit there to uh, show off and what I'm up to and and, and what have you. Hmm. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, it's a good, uh, good wee material to help you uh, uh, smoothen over uh, various areas and also uh, fill in any uh, of that gaps or seams, you know. Yes. Yeah. Very handy stuff, and uh, it's already pre-mixed for you, you see. So, uh, and not like having to mix your uh, car body filler up on a bit piece of wood or something. And, you know, you've got to mix in your your hardener and the, the and the putty together there. You know, just uh, uh, working it in however you can uh, uh, reach or. Uh, whatever tools you have and uh, you know if it looks like a bit of a, a dog's dinner you you've always got to, uh, uh, the uh, the way of uh, sanding it all down there once it's all uh, uh, set hard Uh, yes, uh, uh, the key thing you have to uh, remember is you you only have a certain time to uh, uh, work with it before it uh, yes uh, uh, starts setting on you. Uh, uh, you know, uh, depending how thickly you lay it on. Uh, though, if you if you have it on super thick, like adding a form onto uh, say a staircase, I see if you're looking at uh, increasing the stair length on Snake Mountain, maybe. Uh, 
Uh, you will notice it will get a top skin uh, dried first before it uh, it, it eventually uh, hardens all the way through. So the, the point being is uh, not to, uh, you know, touch it. You might leave it the best part of uh, uh, maybe two days or so. And that all depends on your uh, your room temperature, of course, and how thickly it's all been put on there. Yes, uh, just massaging it into all those uh, all those gaps there. Right, yes, uh, well, there we go, just a, a preliminary uh, a work around there uh, on the uh, the base for the viewing table. You know, you, 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 your results may vary uh, depending on what finish you're looking for. Now you can go, you can smooth it all down or, or leave it textured there or, or textured in uh, some spots. And, uh, uh, yes. So very very handy stuff the old uh, uh, Temia paste is if you don't want to if you can't use the old uh, you know resin as some do to uh, uh, make their 3D prints a little bit more smoothed over there or or using the old uh, other chemicals here and yes uh, well, there's uh, that's how we're on the uh, on the viewing table there so far and of course I'll, I'll do a bit of a painted effect on the dome to make it almost look like a bit of a gemstone uh, that type of effect there uh, using several colors and uh, a bit of a, a thin down of a, a top color of paint just to make it a bit more uh, a translucent there so the other colors uh, show through it and we achieve that with a little bit of silver paint so the light uh, reflects uh, off the silver and you get a nice uh, sort of a, a cat's eye uh, dance of colors there if you will you know, the, the old uh, uh, cat's eye gemstone, or that sort of nice, uh, uh, deep, uh, 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 shadowy form that you uh, uh, get from those type of uh, uh, rocks and uh, and so forth. But yes, it's a little mini uh, a custom figure time uh, uh, episode there. All right, let's uh, 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 cap it all off there, I think. Uh, 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 just, just a moment while I, uh, I shrink myself back down there. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, uh, uh, if you like this uh, uh, video, then uh, uh, yes, uh, feel free to like and subscribe, and uh, and uh, uh, hit the wee notification bell there, so you'll be notified whenever I'm back on the uh, the Great Eye of the Universe. Right. Well, uh, we'll see. Uh, 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 good journey, uh, everybody, and uh, cheerio.